So if you watch my previous introduction video to the E30 build, you might think this is quite a strange place to start. Uh, but I've decided the first thing I'm going to do is overhaul the suspension for the car. Uh, this is in part spurred on by a set of coilovers that have arrived that I'm very excited about, which I'll show you very soon. So my E30 is standard as drums on the rear, so I've picked myself up uh, a set of new rear arms that are disc version, uh, which I'm going to be using as part of a five lug swap, which is what I'm going to be moving on to. Um, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to make your own plates uh, and weld them in place. Um, and this is a good idea because these rear arms have a tendency to flex under load, uh, particularly these two arms between them, there's quite a bit of flex. And it's even been known for the, the arm to snap here under stress. So, and I can't resist a little upgrade whilst I've got these parts before they go on the car. So this might be overkill for my car because I'm not intending to run big power or anything like that. Um, but BMW themselves did realise this problem a bit later down the line and you'll notice that the, the standard arms for the Z3M, I think it is, has this bracing in from factory, so it, it is wise, it's a wise upgrade.
So as you saw, I got the three areas of reinforcement welded in firmly on both the arms, uh, and then I've got it coated up in epoxy primer so it won't uh, rust in the meantime. Uh, bear in mind that this is actually my first ever attempt at welding. Uh, it's not the prettiest, but once ground down I think it'll do. And the most important thing I have achieved, the metal is definitely joined together very solidly. So I'm, I'm quite happy with that. And of course they live under the car, so I'm not worried about them being pretty. If I'm being honest, this took quite a lot longer than I expected, uh, particularly the, the cutting and the fitment of, of the steel. Uh, so if I was to do this again, I think I'd definitely go for one of those pre-cut pre CNC welding kits because uh, it just gives you a, a massive head start. I'll put a link for one of those down in the description. So next for these rear arms is to pull the old bushings out, which I've got polyurethane replacements for, uh, and get them painted in black. However, um, the weather's not very good at the moment, uh, and I think I'm going to paint things in black in bulk, and there's quite a, a few bits to do yet, so I'm going to hold off on, on the black. Of course, there's a long way to go with this E30 build yet. Uh, I'll be moving on to reinforcing the front subframe next, and hopefully I can do some neater welds for that. Uh, make sure you subscribe so you can follow along for the build. Thanks for watching.